Bluebirds are a pretty amazing study species because they do nest in boxes. Um, they will happily nest in boxes, which means that they're easily accessible. Here in the Okanagan, what I'm really interested in is the fact that we have this partially migratory population. We have birds that stay for the winter and then birds that also leave. I put up a mist net and then I take my little model bluebird, whose name is Webster, um, and I put him on the box and I play back bluebird song and uh, I do that to suggest to the bluebirds that somebody is trying to take over their box. They get angry about that uh, and fly in to uh, show, show this guy who's boss, basically, and um, end up hitting my net. So you can see he's got metal green, although his green is pretty messy looking. Um, and I'm just going to give him a red green, make him a Christmas bird. Nice. I'm really, really fascinated by this partial migration system. It's a potential risk to stay uh, on your breeding grounds for the winter, especially when it's really quite cold and it's very unpredictable. But the payoffs can be pretty big, or at least in some other species. That's that's what it seems that uh, you know it can be a huge advantage to remain as a resident. So I know this guy is a second year um, because I know what I did last year. Mm -hmm. I know that we put on the one color band but you can actually age bluebirds really well using molt limits which is kind of neat. So if you look at the secondary coverts here you can see that these are all new mm. and these ones are old and that only happens on second year birds and it happens on both males and females. They molt a variable number of the secondary coverts but they never molt them all. Um, cool. So it works really well for aging birds. This one's got a beautiful mold on it actually. Blue plumages are what, what we call structural plumages. Um, so they're actually, the color is made by nanostructure within the feathers. There's some indication in eastern bluebirds that uh, plumage coloration may tell you about condition when they molted, which again is really what I'm interested in because right. that's when they're making their, their decision well. That is when, when they uh, are either getting ready to migrate or not. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd be interested to know if condition might be a factor in that. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to maybe try that as well. Um. Alright, so that is pretty much this guy done. Hey buddy, off you go.